What's up everybody, Supreme Decisions here. And today I'm coming to you with something that should be a little bit interesting because I had somebody come to me and ask me about offline torts. Now, a lot of times when we're dealing with this, we're dealing constitution, 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 Supreme Court case, Supreme Court case, Supreme Court case. And we forget that there are hundreds of possible torts. One tort that I want to bring to you today is one that comes via what I like to call internet trolls. These are the people that come on your page and start ruckus for no reason other than the fact that they're lonely and they need attention. There are sometimes these people get into these little skirmishes and they do things that take it farther than necessary. When they go and they go after sponsors, they go after your job, and they go after other things that have nothing to do with your content. Today, I'm going to talk about suing an internet troll offline. Now, the tort that I'm coming to you with is torturous interference with commercial expectancy. Now, it's also known as intentional interference with contractual relations. Well, in common law, torts occur when one person intentionally damages someone's contract, their reputation, business relationships, or with a third party causing economic harm. You remember when we talked about things that offer you an opportunity or hell, or even the things that relate to a crime, or offer you opportunities to sue. Damage to person, damage to property, economic damage. That's where tortures interference comes in. This is something that happens when they do this thing called doxing, where they're releasing your information out, or they're intentionally contacting people that offer you money for some sort of fee. Now, the greatest aspect to this is proving there was economic harm done directly by a person or and their actions. Sometimes that's, this can be done through their videos. This can be done through recording phone calls or even the people they contact themselves. These are all things that can be done and it's the only time I actually support you getting an affidavit and using it because this now is not hearsay it's actual evidence because now it's something that can be used as a weapon because when you're talking about doing these extra things and you're trying to do this as a business this is your source of revenue it is not right for someone to come over and do things to you just because they don't like you or don't like what you said, don't like what you stand for, don't like how you look. So, that's what I got. Torture's interference with commercial expectancy, a common law tort that you guys can use and enforce in federal court. Love you guys. Grab your t-shirts. Support the podcast. Support the channel. Pick a tier. One fits you. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. And as you know, Supreme, out.